had to smash her, pass her, natural disaster. Mama say I'm crazy, tried to take me to the pastor. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that nuke. It was actually my first ever nuke, like, in my entire life. And I do apologize for it being recorded in theater mode. I can't record, like, long clips when I'm not using my Elgato, which I don't really use it when I play. But, um, feel free to let me know how many guys nukes you have on Cold War, or just any COD, all CODs, in the comments below. But now, let's get right into the settings. Alright, so first, we got the horizontal and vertical sensitivity. I run 13.5 on horizontal, vertical is 11.0. For the high zoom sense, you can catch me running 3.5. I usually move this, like... Not a lot, but I do move it sometimes. It'll just usually in between three and four. Sometimes I run four, sometimes I'll just run three. Right now I'm in between. Button layout is normal. My bumpers and triggers are flipped. My aim response curve type is dynamic. I have controller vibration off. My aim assist is precision. If you're a sniper and you don't run precision, you gotta start doing that. It's literally the wave, everyone's doing it. One of the best things you can literally do in your settings. The next big thing in the settings is the input threshold for like minimum, maximum. Maximum is just like 199 or whatever you wanna put that at. But I suggest you put your minimum input Input threshold which is like your dead zone to the lowest you can go without like any stick drift so like when your sticks moving automatically you know I'm sure that happened to you before I run two it just makes the game feel a lot smoother and like not as stiff now I don't run auto sprint because I feel it's just kind of weird and I always like hold my breath in like pushing in the stick so I just keep on you know manual sprint and the one thing that they added I think this is new I'm not really sure but sprint behavior I have that on go to so like you press it in and you don't ever like have to press it in again you just keep going forward until you complete completely let go of your left stick. Next is the field of view. I keep my field of view kind of high. It's at 115 and I also have it on independent for both modes. Motion blur is off. Please don't play with motion blur on. It literally makes it so much harder to see anything. I mean, if you like it, go for it. But if you play for somewhat, like if you play somewhat competitive or if you snipe, you're better off just turning it off. But uh, that's about it for the settings. So if, if you guys want to try those settings, let me know in the comments. And if they help, feel free to like and sub. Uh, I'm going to be posting another nuke video in a couple of days. I'm going to try and keep the videos going like at least two a week. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to turn on post notifications and hope to see you in the next one. Good job, team. All